Hello and welcome back to another episode of Total War Warhammer 2 playing Karak Kadrin and Ungram Iron Fist, the Slayer King. I am the Slayer King. As he just introduced himself. And we left off last time, we had just defeated Nubzub, Mork's Chosen. And uh, I did level this guy up. I can't remember what I took. I think I took. Uh... Oh, what did I take? I think it was uh, Pure Beard. It was Pure Beard for the Untainted and the investment in the future. And we've reached a stage where I'd love to move forward. But we're kind of in a predicament because we have quite uh, a small amount of troops left. Although our archers are almost entirely intact. And so it really leaves me wanting to wa uh, wondering whether to move forward to Kazadurkulas and take it now or to, uh, to wait. My gut is telling me that I should go, but then he's got seven troops this turn. It's going to take me two turns to reach there, I believe. Um, so we might not be in a position to fight it once he's recruited more than what he's just got here. So we'll have to wait and see. Back home. Uh, we're currently upgrading Nashorak Slayer. That'll get us to the uh, public order. Well, that won't, but once we have this, we'll then build the public order building. And uh, that will take us to where we want to be for the public order. So for this turn, I think the best thing might be just to be... I don't want to risk moving forward and being up against an army of 6 plus 7 plus at least 7 more troops. It's legendary, so he's going to recruit a lot of troops. So I'm going to move back and try and get the extra replenishment. Because I'm confident that we'll continue to beat him if he comes down with troops like that. Um, and hopefully more and more convincingly. So we might even try and ambush him on the next time. Meanwhile, let's see. Ammunition for our quarrelers, definitely. And on to reload time. Makes perfect sense. Okay, so this casualty replenishment rate is, is a big problem. We really need more, uh, more than that. That's not enough at all. So uh, let's pass our turn here. We'll have to do something about that later. There's nothing can be done at the moment. And of course, I'm wary of this uh, Bloody Spears army just down in the bottom right corner of the screen. That's a full 20 stack, and uh, they're not there on holiday. <laughs> they're not there on holiday, so... Ah, there they go. They've moved back. Hopefully they stay back. I don't know what this fellow's doing. Okay, so that's still going to be three turns at least before we get back to the uh, amount of trips that we could fight with, which is not good. I took more losses than I really should have in that first battle. Just considering what these guys are up to, but no, I think we'll be okay. I think I just have to do exactly what I'm doing and uh, try to replenish as much as possible. Let's just see if I step outside and go into this stance. I think that's the same. So I'd like to get some sight up here. So let's move forward. And maybe I should have done that in the first place. How much movement have we got left? I want to go to 50. There we go. Come move a tiny bit more. That'll do. My oath is intact. And uh, I'll move forward again next turn and just see what's going on over there. The perfect thing to happen would be for me to lay an ambush for him or to intercept him in the underway. Just so I can wipe him out and then move forward. The underway is ideal because we have just the perfect rank and file army to just, you know, using that, that small width to um, maximize our, our front line and then just fire freely on them. So 
it's a really good fight for us against the orcs because they don't have the range to put up with that. But we definitely need to make something happen. But right now, I think we just need to be a little bit patient as well. Oh, he blocked me. You know what? I really should use my runesmith to try and take him out. Because if I don't, he's going to become a right pain. And he already is a right pain doing something like that. So let's level him up. Let's give him an additional 4% chance of winding. It's opportune, I know. <laughs> yes, good stuff. Okay. Tw only 12 after two turns, so I may have made the wrong decision here. I really may have made the wrong decision. And the best thing is he's suffering replenishment from his low fightiness. So he is um, actually not replenishing at all right now and in still taking casualties. So um, even his new units are taking casualties. We'll try and move up a tiny bit. I mean, any movement is 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 still worthwhile. And we'll put our Runesmith back in his army next turn. 146 per turn. We're going to get a little bit of income for this, so we can probably afford to recruit one more troop as well. And I'll probably get another Quarreler. I think, I think I have enough melee. It would be nice to have one Slayer, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, but... I deleted one. Well, uh, no, no, I don't need it yet. It was noted on the last video um, by uh, Waggers that um, I deleted all my Slayers and I'm playing as the Slayer King, which is just totally not thematic at all. So I need to rectify that. That's why I was considering the Slayers there. <laughs> but uh, it's a bit early once we've... Um, taking care of these guys will maybe start thinking about Slayers once we move against the Vampires who are going to have a lot more units that Slayers are going to be effective against. So yeah, I definitely regret not moving against this guy earlier. Especially now that he's only he's still got recruitment of 12. Which seems strange. What can you do? Hinder replenishment, but not a high chance of doing it. Just get back in here. And next turn we'll have full health. As long as we get one more heal. Don't know if that'll be the same in their area though. No, it won't be. But that's okay. That's okay. They were close enough. We need to keep the aggression up. It's going to be 12 plus 7. That's going to be 19 versus our 17. That is... Uh, or our 18. So it's going to be a, a tough fight. And they've got biggins now, which are... Um, which are tough cookies. So we'll have to deal with them as well. Oh! Bugger. <laughs> Silly, clicking too fast. That is not the min-max you want. <laughs> that is minimum in the opposite direction. No worries. We'll, uh... Oh dear, that's not good at all. That could be very costly. I might check my diplomacy. Look, we just encountered Telebackland. That's good. Um, see what they're thinking. If we can get any trade agreements with anyone, that would be awesome. Really? He's coming to fight me? Interesting. Especially with Urk on one health. Well, we're going to have to kill him against this army. That's an interesting engagement. We're going to have to kill him early because we want the uh, morale bonus that he provides to, to go away pretty sharpish. That is a lot of biggins. Need to make sure we focus all our archer fire on them. Okay, he's attacking me, so he's going to come to me. So let's find somewhere nice to set up.
That rock looks pretty good. Hmm. You know, I'm actually not sure. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm considering whether the corner can fit because it is a tough fight and I can't really afford to take big losses, but I'm, I'm not, I, I, I'm always adverse to doing it, of course, because it is kind of cheating. So I, I never do it unless it's absolutely necessary. I, you know, what constitutes absolutely necessary is what's grounds for his agreement, of course. Um, but let's let's make use of this rock instead. So um, that that's a bit better. And go over here, and then we'll sort of sort it out a bit better once we, the battle actually starts. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, let's do it. Nope, that's completely wrong. Should take you out of some grip. Let's have these miners in a bit more of a elongated position. Like that. I'm trying to do that with them, but it's not working. There we go. Let's bring them over here on this hill. Have all our bowmen in guard mode. Let's get these guys a bit more spread out. I don't know about that. These biggins are going to have a real good go. That's not what I asked you to do at all. Let's get here. Nope, that's quarrelers. Just trying to select Ingram. That's. I hate things like that because I'm like every second counts, right? And so now those quarrelers are not shooting for another second, and it's just like, oh god, damn it! <laughs> let's take the night goblins out first. Try and break some big in charges with our runesmith and our uh, Let's make sure we take him out straight away. It's a nice start. Shouldn't really use this to be honest. I want it. Survival is more important. That looks good so far. Now let's try and focus fire as much as possible. Are they going to make it through there? No. It's okay. Alright, let's just absolutely focus fire on units at a time. Try and give them the uh, losses penalty. There we go. They're absolutely massacred. Good job. Let's go on these ones now. So this is this is where we're gonna get hurt the most. Let's fire on these guys now. Seems to be going well in general though. Very, very well, I'd say. Luckily, our warriors are short, even though they're strong. Able to shoot over their heads quite nicely. And this is why we maximize the quarrelers. <laughs> Fire on these big ends. Just, uh, I don't know how to pull these guys out, but we have to. It's going to hurt, but only for a second. These guys can stay here. Just in case anyone comes back, which they will. There we go. That's going to annihilate them very quickly. The clans unite! Okay, awesome. We got the uh, losses losses penalty, and there they go. Let's try and kill as many as possible on the run.
Awesome. Okay, that was a really good battle. Um, still losing more miners than I'd really hoped to lose, but the good thing is we basically lost no archers. Or I think we didn't lose any archers. We really controlled the fight. And... Uh, I think we have enough to continue, is the main thing. The only thing that I regret having to do is killing Urk, because now he'll be replaced with an orc that has uh, better fightiness for the unit. And so they will now replenish instead of suffering attrition, which is a silly... It's a silly uh, thing that uh, CA have done there, because really the fightiness should be attached to the, the unit, the army, rather than the general. But then, of course, the general is the army in CA, so... In Warhammer 2 and Warhammer in general. It's just how it's done, so... I guess it makes sense, but at the same time, it doesn't. So that's awesome. So we're going to clear him out. I can see that uh, they've also brought Thograt up behind him. Let's see what he's got. Hopefully nothing too dangerous. And this is going to be a real opportunity for us to move north. And uh, that was without the extra ammunition. Oh, brilliant. Now we have 20% more ammo. And then the reload speed's coming. Okay, so we definitely... Oh, what's this? I was hoping it might be one of those Bugman Brewery things. It's been a long time since I played. Okay, five public order and it's going to take two turns so that'll bring us down to minus four which is not bad and of course we'll build the granary as well because it just oh, makes sense runesmith forge fire constant armor piercing I'm, I'm not as convinced by that one but it is the best out of these so I'm going to get it anyway although there are there are other things that I would probably invest in later I grow restless. Get down, kid. Oh, that's Thograt, so this is Trixie Backslider. 12. Uh, so, of course, because we were in uh, encampment stance, we got some replenishment that turn as well, which is really nice. I probably will fight this manually, depending on what it says. My command is attack. Okay, hopefully we can reach him here. 52%, that's perfect. There will be blood. Oh, I don't want to lose anyone. I'm going to risk it. Oh, that was really punishing. Wow, I shouldn't have trusted that at all. Okay, we'll execute for the extra leadership. That was just horribly punishing. It is time. But very well. Gonna go into encampment stance. Oh, hang on. We can reach Kazadurkalas. Yes. That would be a better idea. Let's take that. Keep going with it. You know what? Actually, I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him the extremely daring death blow. I'm going to do it. Because that 30% physical resistance is pretty, pretty shit hot. And we've got 20% ward safe here as well, which is absolute. Look at all this physical resistance and ward safe we've got on him. That's so lucky. What a lucky start. Let's not lose that now. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's bollocks. We're fighting that manually, of course. I should have fought the last one manually as well. Really, really regret not doing so. And we will absolutely annihilate these guys. Probably just use my uh, Runesmith and Ungrum to maximum effect here. Where is the nicest bit to do this? There's a little rock there. Let's line up there. Dwarf heroes at the front. Front and centre, as they should be. Okay. Stand a little bit apart. And here they come. Where are the biggins? There's some biggins. There's boys. Biggins are both on the left. Let's shift to compensate. Because we're going to engage with... Uh, you know what? I'd actually prefer you guys to switch places as well. So that... Ungram is closer to the uh, the biggins. Uh, sorry, the the lord. Let's make sure they're in range of each other as well for the armor bonus that's provided by uh, our runesmith.
Charge out! Dwarf warriors! Move! We demand blood! Quarrelous! Get them Let's get rid of these warriors first. Oh, I was holding shift. Clearly not. Nothing can stop us. Fight! Quarrelous! What are you guys shooting at? Shoot the wazzocks! Take these biggins out, please. Our runesmith's also getting a bit hurt. Let's take these biggins out. Into the back of these boys, and that should be the game. The rooms glow. Excellent. Okay, pull that back. And there they go. That's a victory. Hopefully minimal losses again. Uh, let's say 30 men. That's my guess. 39. Oh, 40 would have been better. <laughs> We were close. We were close. Certainly not 150 like we lost to that other freaking battle that I ought to resolve. I can't... Oh, man. I can't believe that. That's a big deal with what's coming towards us. Um, but we'll get the extra replenishment here from being garrisoned in the city. So that's nice. There's no way for us to get extra casualty replenishment, so we'll just occupy it peacefully. But he's almost certainly going to attack us this turn, I'm pretty sure. But the good thing here is he has very little archers, so we can maybe give him a bit of a run around. Weapon strength, that's just for him though, which doesn't seem that good. I need something that can buff our men. It's going to help us now though, that's for sure. Should probably have been going for this much quicker. I'm gonna I'm going to continue oh, do I need lightning strike yet though? You know what? I'm gonna start building towards tactician. I've kind of messed up here. I should have probably, instead of doing that, done this and gone for tactician first to really buff our archers. But um better late than never, as they say. And so I will start building towards it now. Our rinsmith. Uh, let's give him cooldown to his runic abilities. Definitely a good thing. Minus nine with two turns. It's going to be quite a close call. I don't think we'll be able to get back to deal with that, so we might have to untax it. So we need to make sure we keep our income high for if we need to do that. If we do well enough, we'll just take Karak Ungar before it happens and therefore um, negate the effects of not having this taxed. It's not worth much money anyway, is it? Wow, we can stay positive. Alright, I'm doing that now then. Makes no difference. What? <laughs> That's because Khazad Hercules is worth so much by comparison. Um, got two spaces there. Yes. You know what? I'm doing it. I am doing that. Am I doing that? We'll get one. So he's going to attack us next turn, I imagine. He might not. He might not, but I think he will. And if he doesn't, we need to move quickly to Karakungor and siege it before he gets to recruit anything else. Because a full sieged army of biggins is not going to be a nice fight for us. I'll go for two. Yeah. I'm a bit indecisive there, but yes, I, that's final answer. Going for two. I can always change my mind next turn. I can always just cancel one. Quite expensive, was all I was thinking. And perhaps not necessary, but... Oh yes, I need to check my diplomacy. Being very forgetful today. Hopefully do that next turn. 
if I don't forget, which is a common theme with me. <laughs> the red eye. Yes, here they come. Okay, no surprises there. So this is going to be one hell of a fight. I, I just... Ugh. I am devastated by the fact that I auto-resolved that, that other fight. When I, you know, I would have taken, what, 30, 40? Instead, I took 150. That, you know, that could be the, the thing that makes or breaks this fight. I don't think so. I think we're, we've still got this. But, uh, you know, <laughs> mistakes were made. And now we're paying the price. Because these biggins are no jokes. I should just do this first of all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line my men up as much as possible like this. Just to stop them having those easy charges. And it makes my men last as much as possible. But all, what it also does is it funnels them for our archers. It funnels their men into this uh, position that makes it really easy for our archers to shoot them because they end up like in a sort of triangle trying to fight the front of our lines, which obviously is really good for us. And even in front of them, we will have Ungrim and Garim Deansen, which is the least dwarvish name I've ever heard. Garim Deansen. <laughs> Sounds like a biology professor. Professor Garim Deanson of the University of Edinburgh. <laughs> right. Let's do this. Steal yourselves, man. Or Dowie. <laughs> and uh, I think what we'll do is I'm actually going to. So, left four are th two, and right four are three. Where are they going? So, what we want to do is focus the biggins that are going to be on units like this first, because um, obviously that unit will not last long, as you can imagine. Ouch. They are not in range. Please, 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 please. Sometimes that's a bit buggy. Let's just move so we're not taking too much free damage there. Let's get him in this pile up here, see if we can pile up three units on him. That would be amazing. I'm going to pull uh, the Rinsmith over as well to support him. I'm not going to use his ability because it takes too much melee defense off of him. Okay, even though that's an awesome mosh pit, he'll survive a lot longer than this unit will, so everyone needs to turn and fight this. Okay, he's having a bad time. They're, they're fine. After this one, we're going to do the Rinsmith. We're going to help the Rinsmith out. Good job, that's fine, you've broken them. Keep firing, I want them to shatter. Keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. Keep firing. Okay, Rinsmith. I believe that, you know what? Chase them down. You guys are not going to be needed for the rest of the battle, so just make sure they don't rally. That's your job. This is awful. Fire on these nasty skulkers. Warriors move across. We're in some serious trouble here. That is not the correct unit. There. 
These guys, oh, do not lose the runesmith. I can't believe that happened. They're firing on the wrong unit and it's going to get them killed. That's gutting. They, they, I clicked there multiple times. I thought it was weird that the arrows were pointing this way. Ugh. Oh, armor. Might save him. Might save him. If he routes, I'd rather he routes than I move him. Because if I move him, what happens is he gets hit in the back. But if I route, he just moves seamlessly through them, which is a lot nicer. Perfect. That worked out perfectly. Look at these miners fighting to the death. Go on, lads. Get out of there. Everyone here. You, you run away. That's perfect. Fire on these guys. You fire an ornery backslider. You guys just stand still. You guys help Thorgrim. Oh, wow. They're getting the losses penalty already. Strong win for us, and Garam survived. Thank God. Oh, that was a close one. And this is perfect because Ordinary is going to go back to his base with um, tail between legs, but more importantly, low fightiness. So that's good for us. Watch out, lads. You're probably getting shot there. Yeah, look at that. That's a dwarf. That's a post-battle ending casualty. So's that. So's that. All from them chasing them down. Okay, but all in all, I think that was a good battle. That that was a mistake, as we know. Him nearly dying. Garam. But it was okay. He survived, and that's that's all that matters. So, Whew, I was very worried we'd lose him there. I think that armor might have saved his life, I really do. <laughs> Ungram's fine, because even though he's that low health, once he gets to that 20% mark, he's just he's just invincible. So strong. So, like, you can sort of consider that once he gets to 20%, he has, like, 50 to 60% more of his health left against physical fighters, which is everyone at this stage. Okay, um... I don't want to lower my... I want the money, but I don't want to lower my replenishment rate. It's too low at the moment, so we'll execute captives. Ah, look at that. He retreated the wrong way as well. Oh, no, he didn't. It's our cameras. Our cameras all back to front. Fair enough. Okay, so that was a really strong victory. The problem here... Oh, look at that. Quest issued for the Slayer Crown. The problem here we're going to have is... Uh, Moving on to Karakungur, they're already recruiting. They're already ready for us, you know. It's a big deal. Um, but anyway, so I think I'll leave this episode here. I think it's a good place to stop. We're uh, sort of on a cliffhanger with Karakungur, so I hope you enjoyed that. So if you if you enjoyed it, please uh, do subscribe for more content and drop us a like if you like the video. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>